Today is April 14th, Easter Tuesday. The church has us listening to the Gospel of St. John at Mass today. This scene after Mary of Magdala has already told the apostles, the apostles Peter and John run to the tomb and discover the empty tomb, but do not encounter Christ himself. Now Mary is weeping by the tomb and she sees two angels and they say, woman, why are you weeping? And she wants to know where have they taken his body? She's still confused as to what happened, whether he rose or did they just take him away? The, the, the tomb is empty though. And then Jesus appears to her, but she doesn't recognize him. There, there are a number of times where Jesus, the risen Jesus, appears and they do not recognize him. Uh, in the Gospel of Luke, the two disciples on the road to Emmaus don't recognize him as he walks along the way and explains the Old Testament scriptures and how they foretold uh, the coming of the Messiah and his passion, death, and resurrection. Then there's another scene in the Gospel of John, I believe, when they are out fishing. The apostles go fishing. They aren't sure what to do. And then Jesus appears on the shore, but they don't recognize him. So there are a number of places where that happens. And Mary thinks that he is the garden, gardener until he says her name. And then when he, she hears his name, Mary, then she goes, Rabuni, she recognizes him when she hears her name being spoken. And then uh, she, he, Jesus asks her, do not cling to me or do not touch me. Uh, in, in fact, the New American Bible translates it as stop holding on to me because Jesus has an ongoing mission to ascend to the Father and we cannot stay stuck in this one particular spot. There's a famous painting of this by the Italian artist Fontana from the 16th century. The title of the painting is uh, Noli me tangere, which is Italian for do not touch me. Uh, but it's, it's that same notion of do not cling to me because Jesus has another mission. More importantly, it, first of all, I love this painting because Jesus is wearing a gardener's hat because Mary thought he was the gardener. It's, uh, he wasn't wearing a hat in the gospel, but the artist is trying to make that point without having to write words that she thought he was a gardener. So he has this nice wide brim hat that'd be great to have when you're gardening out in the sun. But uh, it's, it's just, I love that painting. Regardless, when Jesus calls her name, Mary, that's when she recognizes him. Now, are we going to recognize the voice of the Good Shepherd when he calls our name? Do we recognize the risen Jesus? Because they, we're, we're called to be attentive and listen to him. That's what our personal prayer life allows us. That's what uh, reading the scriptures allows us, participating in the sacraments as best we can. That, that heightens our hearing so that we will hear him call us the voice of the Good Shepherd when we need to hear it. And we'll hear our name and respond. One of the ways we're called to respond, especially during this coronavirus, are people who may not hear his name because they're getting, feeling isolated. They're, they're, they're away from the community. Think about who that might be. Because you might be the voice of the Good Shepherd to them by calling them, saying their name, asking how they're doing, checking in on them. That's one way that we can be Christ for others to speak other people's names, acknowledge them, especially if they're feeling isolated and lonely. And in that way, not only do we hear his name calling us, but then he calls us to be his voice to others, to show that love and compassion so that they also can respond in gratitude to the voice of the Good Shepherd through you. God bless you.